Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here. This is a software review series, but today I'm going to actually review GoDaddy's web hosting. For those of you who have been to my website, www.pcmachina.com, you will probably have already noticed that uh, over the past couple of months my internet access has actually been really slow. Well, that's actually because I've been using GoDaddy web hosting. So I decided to give a little feedback out to the community and to the world on how GoDaddy actually operates behind the scenes and uh, how reliable their service actually is. Obviously, the most important thing you can have with any kind of web hosting service is reliability. Well, GoDaddy prides itself in its 99.9% .9 uptime. In other words, your website will not go down over a huge range of time. Well, let's look at what other people are saying real quick about GoDaddy. For this, as you can see, for this particular review set, 99 people who have had their hosting said that reliability was 2.8 out of 5, support was 2.3 out of 5, pricing was 3.6 out of 5, and overall was 2.4 out of 5. Well, yeah, it's true the pricing is good. It's like $4 a month or $5 a month for a really good amount of hosting and uh, web bandwidth, but that doesn't make it a good product. You can get really good web hosting pretty much anywhere, not just at GoDaddy, for around 6 $7 a month. What GoDaddy doesn't tell you is that even though they have a 99.9% .9 uptime, they have a latency tolerance of 5 to 8 seconds of load time. In other words, when somebody clicks on your link to your website or types in your web address and they press enter, GoDaddy says it's okay for it to take up to 8 seconds for your page to load, and on each individual page they select after that, it's okay for it to take another 6 to 8 seconds for it to load. Now, I don't know about you guys, but anybody who's planning on doing any kind of reliable web hosting, that's an insane amount of time for somebody to have to wait for a different web page within your web page to load. And I'm not the only one that feels that way. Obviously, if I scroll down, there's a lot of people who have the same issues where it takes a long time for the actual website to load. Now, I contacted their support, so let's go into support. I did contact their support. I had a conversation with the individual. I let them know that their PHP rendering server was really poor and uh, that they needed to address the issue on the Linux server I had. They proceeded to put me on hold and talk to their advanced technical support. They came back and said, yes, there is a known issue. Well, this happened about eight times, and finally, on the eighth time I called them, they said that the issue has been resolved and the six to eight second tolerance is within your criteria. Sorry, there's no So, let me tell you what happened after that. I went ahead and decided to disconnect from GoDaddy because I was sick and tired of waiting six to eight seconds for my page to load, especially when I'm posting new posts or uh, adding new content daily. And I really want the people who visit my site to have a good experience. I don't want them to have to wait six to eight seconds. And here's the biggest part, my friend. This is Google Analytics. This is what I use to actually track how many users have been to my website, and it's what I use to do all my web trending behavior on my website, you know, traffic monitoring and things like that. Well, let's go ahead and look over the past months when I've had GoDaddy. I had GoDaddy all the way back from when I first started this whole service with uh, PCMichiana.com. And as you can see, my traffic was gradually around 34 hits. You know, I'm just starting out, so I don't take any of the lower hits in the beginning very personally. But, uh... Here's where we start to actually see what happens when you have a host like GoDaddy on your website. Let me go ahead and scroll to the right, and I will give you guys a little bit of time to guess when I actually started getting Bluehost web hosting instead of GoDaddy. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I switched from GoDaddy to a different hosting this evening of the 20th, and my hits doubled. The next day, they tripled. This is what a bad web host can do to your website. So, when it's all said and done, I give reliability for GoDaddy a 1 out of 5, and I feel like I'm being generous. Support, a 1 out of 5. If you have to tell them 8 times what exactly the problem is with their server and they still don't fix it, and then they blow you off by telling you it falls within their tolerance levels, which are ridiculously low tolerance levels, you're not giving good customer service. Pricing is one out of five, because why am I going to pay for terrible reliability and terrible support at all? It should be free. If I wanted hosting with bad support and bad uptime, I would be getting free web hosting. And overall, I give it a one out of five. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. For those of you who are considering GoDaddy hosting, run for the hills, my friends. It's definitely not worth the money. Thanks for stopping by. Please comment and rate. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.